Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Scan Tool Network YouTube video channel. Um, in this video, we're going to demonstrate the iCOS of POR version 2.0 kit, which is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So we have this tool plugged into the OBD2 diagnostic port of this Porsche Cayenne. And uh, as the title suggests, we're just really going to show you um, how to view live DPF data and go through the motions of doing a DPF regeneration. We're not gonna do a DPF regeneration in this video. We'll save that for a different video. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is just go through and select our vehicle, and then we'll start uh, showing you the live data and the different types of live data that you can actually get when looking at uh, the Porsche Cayenne. Uh, it's also gonna be suitable for the Macan and the Panamera as well. We're just going to select our vehicle now, which is the Cayenne, and we need to select the DME Digital Electronics uh, for the engine. So it's the DME, which is essentially the engine system. And we go down to Data Streams, and then we've got lots of different, 15 in fact, different types of live data that we can find or view. So we go to the diesel, I believe, is it? We've got lots of... Uh, that's not it. Um, ah, here we go, sorry. I've gone straight past it several times. Catalytic converter, diesel particulate filler. So I'm just clicking onto that. And then what we can do is just select all by pressing F1, so it selects these, and then we'll press F2. And that's gonna give us lots of different information regarding the DPF so it gives us exhaust gas temperature sensors diesel particulate filler time since last regeneration um, diesel particulate filler calculated suit mass at suit load so we've got 6.01 grams in there at the moment scrolling through here showing you the types of DPF that you can get or DPF live data should I say and I think that's it what about if we go into the general one yeah that's it so that's the DPF data that you can find now with regards to actually going in and doing a DPF regeneration you'd go into the service menu, click enter, and then we go to the DPF menu. And then from here, we select our vehicle. We're not gonna go all the way through because obviously uh, we don't need to do a deep, well, we're not gonna do a DPF regeneration right now, but that is how you would do it essentially. Um, don't think it's going to let us come back from this actually from now um, but yeah that's essentially the uh, the ICOS of POR version 2.0 kit um, as I say it is available at Diagnostic but I'll just turn it off and turn it back on here just to give you an idea of um, what it will do so yeah so it's um it's a, it's an excellent tool it covers all of the main systems as well like ABS airbags transmission uh, PSM you know you name it engines and it'll also do service resets uh, for your oil service resets electronic park and brake new battery registration electronic throttle control steering angle sensor dpf as i say um, an update to this tool will also add injector coding and um, abs brake bleeding as well so it's a really useful tool to have if you are a porsche owner uh, or enthusiast it also obviously covers all of the other you know like the 911 911s the car um Boxsters, the Caymans. I'll just show you a quick list of all the coverage here. When we see 982 here, that means the 718, the newest 718s. McCann's and Panamera's as well. So it's, it's a useful tool, and as I say, it's, it's really aimed at um, 
Porsche enthusiasts and owners. Most Porsche owners are enthusiasts in any case. So, you know, just if you are looking to maybe look after your own vehicle, uh, then I'd highly recommend this tool. But uh, I'm rambling, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, it's available, as I say, at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. And I will put a link to the, uh, the kit in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.